Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for Pisces. Well, my lovelies, what an adventurous month is in store for you. It kicks off with a new moon that is making you feel quite intense. And also you might be focused on love, lust, passion and power. And that's going to be a common theme for the next 13 months. But actually, hopefully you've done all that work and you are in your power and you can experience being more powerful and your fears are behind you as you stretch yourself and step into being the powerful, vibrant, beautiful being that you are, unafraid to be yourself. Happy days. Now, Venus is trining Neptune, your ruler, and it's saying, yeah, even in love, I want to be adventurous. I want to show who I am. If you're in a relationship, you are becoming more confident in expressing your eccentricity, your uniqueness, your passion, and your fire. If a relationship isn't working, you are ready to cast your net further afield and swim into new and wondrous oceans of love. Now, interestingly, Venus, the planet of love, I love this actually, Venus, the planet of love, is visiting two of her goddess friends this month. And all of us are learning what it is to be in love in terms of our freedom and our sense of being committed and safe. And funnily enough, but it obviously, depending on your sign, it affects everyone differently. And for you, it's about your sense of adventure, stretching yourself and being able to learn and grow through your relationships. Even if you're single, this is relevant in terms of your relationship with yourself and even your friendships. But Venus is visiting first Lilith, the wild one, the free one, the one that has relationships on her own terms. But let's face it, that's also an extreme. But it's, it's coming to you. You will have this calling, this desire, this sense that you want more adventure in your life. But later on, on the 11th, Venus is visiting her other mate, the goddess Juno, who's quite sensible and is saying, do you know what? What you need is a relationship that works for you. You don't need a relationship, you know, that's not going anywhere just because it's pleasurable or even if it's heaven and hell, you know, you need something that actually works because that makes your life better. And you will be visiting both of these goddesses on an energetic level, could be in your dreams, doesn't have to be literally, although for some of you it may be that you have a choice between two lovers who are very different. And you're learning something about the way you are as a lover. Now Mercury is conjunct Jupiter in that energy of um, power and powerlessness and backing you up and making you feel powerful in your choices. Also, on the 16th, there is a full supermoon. And this supermoon is making you more confident and more aware of your power. And it can bring a financial matter to a conclusion for you. There could be, a, a, well, it could go either way, but I'm, I like to think that it will be you seeing a way to draw more abundance into your life. Now, all of that Venus energy changes on the 18th as it goes into a much more sensible position and you'll be thinking about your career. It may be that you turn your focus away from love and into your career. Maybe that you channel your passion into your career. But either way, you know, it's, it's all right. It's good. Um, Mercury is opposing Uranus in, in your, your money power uh, section. There may be a lot of stuff going on about you looking at your worth in terms of money and success. But you know what? Money can't buy you happiness, so they say. But certainly, if you want to increase it, it is possible. Although you may have a little, um, I don't know. We're all, we're all going for a bit of a dark night of the soul on the 20th when Mars and Pluto are conjunct. Now, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It just brings about transformation of some kind. And for you, you may join forces or let go of or have a very strong reaction to something that's going on universally or in a group of people. So if you go either, it might be something in the world that you suddenly join a protest or it may be that you suddenly want to do some charity work or it may be that in your work environment, there's a massive change coming. You know, it could play out in many ways. Now, on the 23rd, you brighten up. You're feeling much more adventurous as the sun enters your position of adventure, learning and branching out as does Mercury and they join forces on the 28th. That's great. You're feeling a little bit eccentric and free spirited. Careful you're not too blunt though. When Mercury's in that position, we can accidentally speak the truth without your usual lovely empathy and tact. If you can speak your truth with the empathy and tact and be spontaneous and free, probably great rewards are coming. Now Venus is conjunct Saturn and you're building solid foundations when it comes 
to your career and money. And that's great that this, this month you're being sensible, but not just sensible, you're loving it. You're loving being able to turn your life around and, and being able to see things on a new level. The new moon on the 30th, which allows us to let go of the past and start again and move on to a new cycle, is in your position of adventure and you're like, yeah, you know, I'm feeling much more, much freer, rather. Um, and Halloween, which if you're a typical Pisces, you probably like Halloween because you do, you do like the occasion of the magical, is a good old day because Sun and Mercury are in your position of adventure, trining Neptune in your first. Anything could happen. It could be exciting. And uh, certainly th there is a world of potential for you this month. Send you so much love, take care, and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for listening. And please, if you haven't yet, it'd be great if you could subscribe, share, like, or comment. Take care, see you next week.